To write the Lewis structure for S2O, let's first count up the valence electrons. Sulfur, that's in group 16, sometimes called 6A. It has six valence electrons, and we have two sulfur atoms, so we'll multiply that by two. And then oxygen, that's right above the sulfur, group 16, six valence electrons. So 12 plus 6, 18 total valence electrons for the S2O Lewis structure. So typically with Lewis structures, we put the least electronegative element in the center. So let's put a sulfur in the center of our Lewis structure here, and then we'll put a sulfur on the other side, and then an oxygen. So we have 18 total valence electrons. Let's start by putting electrons between the atoms. That forms the chemical bond there. And then we'll complete the octets on the outside atoms. At this point, we've used 16. We have two more. We'll put them on the sulfur here. So we have octets for both the sulfur and the oxygen here, but the central sulfur, we only have six. So we could move two here to form a double bond. That would give this sulfur eight, this sulfur eight, and this oxygen, it has eight. We could have moved the double bond from the oxygen as well, but let's see what happens with this. When we do this, we need to look at our formal charges to see if we have the best or most favorable Lewis structure. So sulfur here, this would be zero, this would be minus one, and the sulfur in the center would be plus one. We'd like our formal charges to be as close to zero as possible. If we moved this pair of electrons here to form a double bond, then this oxygen would be zero, and the sulfur in the center, that would be zero. So this is the most favorable or most likely Lewis structure for S2O. So we had those two other resonance structures where we had a single bond here or a single bond here, but our formal charges weren't zero like we have here. Let's take a look at the bond angles and the molecular geometry briefly. So the purple, that'll be the central sulfur. We add a double bonded oxygen, and then let's add the other sulfur there. We end up with this linear molecular geometry. But remember, we had that lone pair there. So we're going to put the lone pair. That pushes everything down. So now our molecular geometry is bent, and we have bond angles of about 120 degrees. If you wanted to look at the electron geometry, where you took into account this pair of electrons, that would be trigonal planar, because you can see it's all here in this plane. This is Dr. B with the Lewis structure and the molecular geometry and bond angles for S2O. Thanks for watching.